we've got an animated birthday greeting synced to lyrics. Modified motion presets animate the text over the cake. Now let's use the camera to zoom in for a tight shot of each text animation and have the camera zoom out at the end. Here we have multiple lines of text animated and synced up with the song, but all of the animation happens in the same shot. It would be much more interesting to be zoomed in to the animation of each group of text, cut to each animated grouping, and zoom out at the end to show that the text was all on the frosted cake with the festive background. We can make the cuts and the zoom with Animate's camera. Click on the camera tool. Animate adds a special camera layer to the top of the timeline. Let's add a keyframe on the camera layer for each animated group of text. Click on the first span and scrub the timeline to see the group of text when it's all on screen. The camera controls that appear over the stage let you adjust the rotation in the zoom. Make sure zoom, which is the icon of the camera in the magnifying glass, is selected. Then drag the slider all the way to the right. Dragging the slider once only zoomed in part of the way to our text. Look in the properties panel on the tool tab. You'll see that we increased the zoom to 200%. We can enter the amount of the zoom here or continue to drag to the right until we get the text where we want it. At about 350%, we're zoomed in enough, but the text is above the viewable area. Click and drag upward to move the text into view. You can move it side to side to help position it too. That's our first shot. Select a frame at the end of the next animated text sequence. We see that the zoom is back to what it was originally. Zoom in and position the camera for this shot like we did the first one. Continue setting the zoom and position the camera for all the shots except for the last one. We want the last shot to animate zooming out from the close-up to a full view of the cake. First, let's click on the span, right-click, and in the context menu, select Create Motion Tween to let Animate know we want to animate it. The camera is currently set to the original zoom of 100%. That's the zoom we want for the end. So click on the last frame, right-click, and insert a keyframe. Go back to the frame in the span where all the text is on screen. Zoom in to a close-up of the text. When we make a change on a motion tween, Animate automatically makes a keyframe for us. If we want this keyframe to be the start of a motion tween, we can drag it to the beginning of the span. Scrub the timeline to see what it looks like. We can also double click on the camera's motion tween to open up the motion editor and add ease to how it zooms out. Select scale, which is the camera's zoom. The curve represents how the zoom, or whatever other property you select, is being animated. Below the graph is the Add Ease button. Click it to see the presets. Twirl open Simple and select Medium. The Ease keeps the zoom on screen for a shorter period of time and transitions over a longer period of time to the final zoom. Play it to see the final kinetic type animation with the added camera moves. It's your birthday, yes it is, it's your birthday, yes it is, it's your birthday, so happy birthday to you, yes to you. When we're ready to export our video, go to File, Export, Export Video slash Media. Animate uses Adobe Media Encoder to render your video, so you can set it to render immediately or have it added to the queue. Then click Export. With Animate, we've made an animated birthday greeting in which we created effects with decorative strokes, gradients, symbols, and advanced layers, animated with motion tweens and motion presets, and added sound and camera moves.